What's up and welcome to Loose Beats, where we chill out and make a beat. I'm Toby, aka Cushing, from the TND YouTube channel. Make sure you check out everything we do. And today we have another beat for you called Flamenco. And real quick, you'll see why. So, this one is something that I worked on a while back and then just kind of dropped off. And I wanted to take another look at it and see. Uh, if there's something to pull out of it, you know, I know there's something good in here. And I just want to take a glance. We got this uh, classic classical acoustic here um, running some basically like some some arp shit, you know, it's uh, just running up a few little setup here and go ahead and hear these sound like. So got this nice little uh, kind of Spanish sounding uh, little walk down and we got a synth right on top of it here um, under your experimental sense, uh, nostalgic talking. And it's kind of just hitting some of our lead notes to accent that guitar. Yeah, so there's just a little accent. You can hear it with it. Yeah. Nice little setup, nice little melody coming in. Um, and then before we have our drop here, we uh, bring in this organ, this distorted organ. It's also in the experimental, but under the organ sound. Um, and it's just doing a little bouncy, bouncy reggae. A little waltzy, you know? Uh, but I kept that distortion on it just so it didn't sound so churchy and uh, kind of throw, kind of threw the tone off when it was like that, and then so our drops right here, and we add a lot of new elements. Some, you know, again, I'm looking at this from a while back. May need to rethink some of this, but uh, we have our underwater stage, and MK, and that's under your vintage piano experimental. This is our third uh, subcategory experimental. So you know, I was feeling froggy this day. And uh, this one's just kind of a whirly, with some weird underwater effects. And a lot of distortion and stuff coming through there, you know? It's got that little kind of back echo, you know, that little bounce back echo that sounds underwater especially. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's got an odd little reverb on it. And then we got... Uh, the thumb bass, which is doing some of the work uh, down here. Our trap bass is doing some of the work. It may replace both of those with just an 808. We'll see. But uh, this is kind of doing our <laughs> little funky little step downs. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's got... Uh, a little funk in it. I think it's hidden over here. We got this wah halfway up and this auto funk doing a lot of the work with the cut cut off all the way down or pretty close. And uh, it's doing a little work. I like that. I would keep that there. And uh, to accent that or more, you know, the other way around, uh, our trap bass here is hitting some of our main hits. Just real simple. I didn't really work on the 808 tone in this one. The tone's more coming from the, the thumb bass, I think, with that funk tone. So we got uh, all our melody and our rhythm section set up, except our drums, right? So uh, these uh, these were an older one, so I was using the ultra beat, which I still like, but. Uh, I don't like the sequencer. I wish I could 
uh, drag it up and and see all of these tracks sequencers together. There may be a way, but never been able to find it. So, um, let's see. Wait on that one. What's our tone here? We had analog circuits. This kick. A uh, little electro, kind of organic sounding though. Nothing too crazy, nothing overwhelming. And uh, we've got our hat set up here. I like that tone a lot. It's kind of a muted, it's under the silver machine. I like that, I like that tone. It's very clicky, kind of muted. And then we've got our initial snare just doing our main hits here. Oh wait, this is our open hi-hat. It matches up with a lot of the snare hits very closely. But so that open hat, it's probably doing too much. I'm already going to assume that it, it looks like it's a little too often. Um, that one's from a tasty, GB Tasty SP-12. I don't even know what that is, what section that's in. But um, here is where I'll presume our, yeah, our initial snare, which we've got um, set up, pulled from this pack. Uh, it's in a boom bap section, and it's very, very straightforward, and, uh, you know, kind of, it's definitely electronic, 808 sounding, um, not too organic. And then we've got a little kind of muted setback snare under it. A little more choppy, a little more machine gun sound, you know. And I just got those set up to accent your initial snares here. So they kind of click off. Yeah, see, some of those could move like... Um, this could probably move back. And just have them as lead-ins and runoffs. I'll have to go through and fuck with those a little bit. They seem uh, a little loose to me. but um, So we've got our drum set up here. And then... Well, we do have an 808 buried in here. I didn't even... Kind of. It's like a kick 808. Yeah. I don't know. That may be what's muddying it up. Since that uh, trap bass is already doing a lot of that frequencies work. I may uh, try this muted for a minute. Um, it may have already been there, but... So let's hear what everything's looking like uh, and lining up. Let's see what we think. second keyboard here that's kind of playing off the organ might be a little much um. At least don't carry it any further. I can knock it down a little bit. Um, may have to do something with that. But I just want that little drop. I kind of like this. I, I know it, I stopped working on it a while back just because I didn't know uh, what to lean into really. But it's not bad. It's got uh, all the elements that you need to like stay interested in it. I just needed to take it some direction. I don't know. It's got a oddly 
it's got a reggae feel. It's got a Western feel somewhere in there. A little Spanish feel. I don't, I don't really know which way to take it, but I may, you know, may also want to liven up the beat in the second half and do something a little more energetic, you know. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show this beat. And uh, thanks for showing up. Just make sure to do whatever you can, you know, like, subscribe, sign up for our Patreon if you can. We offer a lot of cool things, uh, you know, just if you like the stuff, just, you know, any way you can support the show. And uh, we like doing this for you. We'll be here every week and check out uh, socials if you like beats. Um, let us know. Leave us some feedback. Tell me some beats to do. I'd love some ideas on some new ones new genres, you know, so just let us know, reach out if you like to show it, love y'all, and here's Flamenco one more time.